most people have an opportunity to leave the area and go explore and try something new. I think most people migrate back here eventually. It's hard to take a Uper out of the UP. I think there's a lot of education right now about having an inclusive community that encompasses all different abilities, ones that you can see and you can't see. I don't think I would be where I'm at without that accident happening. I am Alan Beauchamp. And I am Joan Beauchamp. And, and we, we are, are people, people of Marquette. Marquette. One in four individuals live with a disability. When you see an individual living with a disability, you want to make it so that they're included. Marquette has made a lot of improvements. They continue to make those improvements and, and bring the accessibility to the next level. There's been just a massive amount of change in our city of Nagani. Um, the city manager and the staff have been constantly working at improvements uh, in the streets and the sidewalks. And Tea Lake has a whole new accessible area down by the beach. It's just really amazing to see those things happen. I grew up in Ishpeming until I was seven years old and then we moved to Nagani. I uh, played junior hockey, started when I was seven years old, played through high school, spent two years in the U.S. Navy. I missed home a lot. I was at a point where I couldn't stop thinking about going home. I grew up in Sumi location, which is between Palmer and Gwyn. Just running outside barefoot and helping in the gardens, helping our grandmothers. Went to Nigani High School. In fact, was a freshman when Alan was a senior, but we never met. I was a little bit of a geek and a brain, and Alan apparently was more into partying. So our paths did not cr cross at that time. <laughs> Decided to go to Northern Michigan University. They have, have an amazing uh, nursing program. I love working in healthcare because I see it as my community that I'm helping. It's really rewarding. I uh, was on my ATV. I came around a corner, I misjudged it, and then on the other side hit a large boulder. And I broke my back at T11, crushed the vertebrae, and severed my spinal cord. So I've been in a chair since 2010. Coming home after the accident, everything was just so foreign. I had to learn how to navigate my new life. Yeah, a lot of frustrating times, but I can honestly say there's a lot of good times too. Uh, it changed me as a person. The one thing that the accident did do was change the direction for me and my faith in Jesus. I don't think I would be where I'm at without that accident happening. We met the day before Thanksgiving. I really wasn't looking, and um, I knew when I met him that I was going to marry him. So every Sunday, right after church, we would have our swim stuff packed. We would go to NMU. We would get in the pool and spend four hours training, and I'm sure they were sick of us because we were hugging all the time. <laughs> hugging and kissing in the yeah. pool. Yeah. We got married in 2018. In regards to technology related to mobility, there are so many opportunities. In the back of my mind, I had thought, you know, oh great, I'm gonna be driving a van. I've always drove pickup trucks. I felt like I was gonna lose that ability. And one of the first questions I was asked when we went to this business was, do you wanna to continue to drive a pickup? And I said, how is that gonna happen? And they showed me the equipment that I currently have on my pickup truck. I don't need anybody's help, which is really important. This wheelchair is a part of me, I understand that now. But when I'm able to transfer out of the wheelchair into, say, another seat, like, I love cutting the grass. You're riding around on a lawnmower and people are walking down the street and waving to you. And for a moment, you're just like, they don't even see the chair. They're seeing a guy driving on a riding lawnmower. I had a professor mention to me, have you ever heard or seen the adaptive sport sled hockey? Before we knew it, we were down in Grand Rapids. I was trying the sport for the first time, and it was amazing. 
the rubber mats and the coldness and the crisp, it brought so many emotions back. I started a sled hockey program in Marquette in 2016. I had no idea that something like that would take off. Uh, our plan is to expand uh, throughout the entire Upper Peninsula. Would life be easier if we moved south? Probably, but I love the challenge. This is where our home is. This is home. Yeah. I'm Alan. I'm Joan. And, and we, we made, made it Marquette. Marquette.